And I'm Dr. Elizabeth Sowers, and I am an associate professor in sociology, and I'm also one of the two faculty advisors in our program. So what that means is that I have a lot of contact with students either in the classroom or through our advising work. The sociology major, I'm sure it will not surprise you if I tell you what a great major it is, um, because I am a sociologist, so I think that makes sense. But um, sociology is the scientific study of society. And what I really love about it is it helps us make sense of our social world, of our lives, and of our experiences and all the things going on around us using science, right? So we're able to perform analysis of all of these things that are really a part of our daily world. And I think that it's such a powerful, uh, a powerful thing, especially at this historical moment when there's no shortage of big events um, going on in the world. The social major is full of fantastic courses and new students coming in um, next year are really coming at a great time because we're just putting a whole new set of courses in place that we have really been working on developing for the last five, six, seven years. So we're going to have a really exciting sequence of courses on research methods, which I know may not sound that exciting, but oh my gosh, so exciting. Um, students are going to be exposed to both quantitative and qualitative research methods. Um, as well as taking like an overall class that uh, unites the two of them together. So this is going to give you great research skills that you can put into practice in a wide variety of career or grad school. We also have this really great senior culminating experience, which is that we have a two semester capstone class that students take in their last year with us at CI. And that's a research experience. So we sort of embed that undergraduate research experience into our major so that every student gets a chance to take a part of that. On top of those things, we have tons of electives, um, things that cover the sociologies of, say, race and ethnicity, of gender and sexuality, of work in the economy, of culture, of social movements, of the political sphere. I could just go on and on um, with those list of electives. There's no specific background required uh, to major in sociology, but I'd like to sort of flip it and talk about what students should expect in the major. What they should expect is a lot of reading and a lot of critical thinking. A lot of folks may not know, um, but there is a lot of math in sociology. So students will take not one, but two statistics classes as part of the social major. Sociology is the scientific study of society, and so it's really good prep for those careers in social work or in the criminal justice sector. But I just think it's important students know that it's not exactly the same thing, right? You're getting a different experience than you would from like a bachelor's in social work. We have a lot of grads who put their research skills to use working either in data analysis or research analysis. Or we have grads that use their research skills in some capacity in another field, like maybe working in human resources and doing exit surveys of employees that leave the company that you're working for. That's a great example of how research methods live out there in the real world. Um, we also have plenty of grads who work in business, for financial firms, for marketing companies, for all sorts of different um, institutions. My wish for all students coming to CI, again, regardless of major or class status, is that you look back with no regrets and no unfulfilled desires, that whatever it is that you want to do in college, you do. So I guess get it all out of your system, do it now, right? And make sure that you leave CI having taken everything from it that you can, because that's what it's here for.